It's war once again. Your country needs you now, boys. We are fighting an enemy like we have never encountered before. They are evil beyond reproach. Where they have come from, I do not know. We need to send them back to wherever it was they came from. We need you, soldier. Yes, you. Sign up at your nearest signing up station. We should be one near you. And remember, soldier, your country will be indebted to you. Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here saying welcome back to Let's Play Conker's Bad Fur Day. Since last time I escaped from the zombie infested mansion out in the spooky place of death and bats and evil things, and in today's episode, if you haven't already caught on by the whole war ad promo, we're going to war! Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we're going. Because if you remember from uh, before, you'll see that this area was no... was never really available us, available to us until now so let's go on forward this by the way is probably one of my favorite parts in the entire game actually it probably is my favorite part in ah no next to the, the great money field <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really enjoy that guy. He's a, he's a funny character. Now then, the first thing we want to do before clearing the way for uh, the boat to arrive, for the boat and destroying that plane, what we want to do first off here is go around to this pathway right here, and you'll see that there's this dangerous electric eel fellow. Now what you want to do is go into here and have him pretty much follow you all around here, and it'll be obnoxious underwater sequences once more. But what you want to do here, you'll drag him through there. That'll let you go through here. And then I believe what we are. I'm not sure if it's just one or two. I can't remember if we have to drag it through all of them, but I know there's a few we have to take it through. Okay, it's only it's only a couple of them. All right, so it's only the ones attached to the wires. That's right. Okay, I remember things. Okay, hopefully I won't get absolutely demolished by this fellow. But if so, go oh well. Okay, come on, let's see if we can... there we go. Got that one activated right there. Grab some air real quick. Dive over here. And then that's the that fellow. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I've been told. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, no, 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 you bastard. Okay, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> We're all good. Don't worry, guys.
As you can clearly tell, that pathway has been opened, and a context-sensitive pad has appeared. But remember that for later, because, well, we're not really going to be using that quite yet. But trust me, you'll you'll thank me for want, for doing this now rather than later. Also, what we want to actually, eh, you'll see why. Eh, I'll get into that a little later, I suppose. But now then, what we want to do up here now is go up here, knock on this door. David Tremor, is that you? I don't suppose you have any, uh, uh like, toilet paper? Uh, no, I'm not the janitor. And could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I, I think I'm starting to gag. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a bit of a problem, and, and it's kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I'm coming out now. I, I... I seem to have this thing attached to my back. I, I, I can't see what it is. Um, oh, uh, you need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back there and, you know, give me a hand. Ah, uh, well, okay. Ew. But yeah, what we gotta do here is... No, 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 buddy. Okay. What we gotta do is push... Get behind this guy and just... This part is kind of a pain in the ass. But let's see. Yeah, you're pretty much gonna have him go in the direction your control stick is pointing. Or it's, it's kind of obnoxious. But as you can tell, once we get him sliding down here, this will happen. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. What will happen now? Well, in order to prevent that from happening, children, what we gotta do is push this block up here before doing anything else. I just figured I'd show you what would happen if you didn't do that. So, once we've got that block pushed up there, all I have to do now is just go back up and knock on the door once more. Yeah, so don't worry, guys, in case you lose your guy, the TLT guy, because another one will just automatically appear. All you have to do is just go back up and, uh, knock on the bathroom door again. But now then, now that we have the block in our way, we don't have to worry about him sliding off the edge of the cliff and falling to his watery grave. So, what we want to do here now is get around here, stay for a second. No, oh, crap, crap, he's going to, oh, whew, right there, I thought I was going to die. What we got to do here is get behind one of those crates and just keep pushing them right here. It's You're going to have to get some form of momentum going before you do anything else, though. Otherwise, if you're too slow, he'll pretty much just die right there and then. Let's see. Right. Can I make this? I could probably make this. I'm hoping I can make this. Whew, I made it. All right. Yeah, be careful of that right there because that will crush you and your guy will explode in you in one hit. And I can make this. All right. I'm doing good so far. I'm doing pretty good. Making some nice momentum right here. Got to wait for this, but that's not that big of a deal. And then, once we've gotten that guy over here... Wow. That went immensely easier than I anticipated. Sometimes it takes me, like, a good six, seven tries to get here, but... For me this time around, it seems that the luck gods are in my favor. So yeah, once we've got him right there, it'll just sit there automatically. And if you remember that context-sensitive pad we opened just a few minutes ago... Well, this is the time to use it. All we gotta do here is just jump around, high jump up, high jump up here, high jump up here, high jump up here, open up the contact sensitive pad, we'll just take out the slingshot once again, and what that will do is allow us to pretty much launch a fireball, okay, got a little, a little higher here, and that will light this, and... Kaboom! And that will pretty much destroy that first one right there. So that's pretty nice if I do say so myself. So what we're going to do now is just go back and pretty much destroy the other side by going around this pathway right there. So I'll just do that right now. Open up the doorway, get him down here, and then we'll go and 
move onward, I suppose. Though I don't really think this requires a jump cut, because this will take all of about three seconds. So I don't know why I just talked like that, but whatever. <laughs> That's just the way I talk, I guess, nowadays. So let's see, now we're going to move this fellow down here, drop him pat down to this pathway. This will open up this thing in the Jagger. So you don't need any chocolate. No, okay, I'm all set on chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Okay, so yeah, now then, this pathway is tricky. Because what you gotta do here is, you might think it's just a clear pathway, but as you can tell, there are a lot of mines. If those mines touch you, well, guess what? You're pretty much screwed. The guy's gonna blow up in your face. But let's see how well I can throw against this path. I think if we just stay right here for the most part, we'll be good. And if I see a guy pop up, then I think, okay, so, oh, no, 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 fuck. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully I won't go kabooly in my face this time around with these spider mines. But I could, I am going to die here. I am so fucked. Gotta love that LP curse. Gotta love that LP curse. Okay, hopefully this time around I won't die and be stupid. But knowing me and my stupidity, I pretty much jinx myself by saying how well that, by noti noticing how well that, like, first part went for me. Because that was just, that, it went so good. It went so good, because that, normally that part just really screws me in the arse, but apparently not this time around. Okay, okay, going around this way. Watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy. No, 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 don't go in the water, don't go in the water, don't go in the water, Woo. Okay, 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 doing good, doing good, doing good, just gotta weave myself around here. I think I'm safe. Awesome, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, it only took me three tries to get to that one. I'll be safe here. Yeah, you will, because you're gonna go explode in your face now. Because that's what I say, that's what I say to you, boy. Alright, so, jumping around here, it's your jumpy, 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 jumpy. So we launch ourselves in the air. We launch ourselves in the air again. Crack open the slingshot. My golden magic slingshot. All right. And with that out of the way, we can now continue onward. But what lies ahead at the War Island up upon yonder? Find out next time on Let's Play Conquerors Bad Fur Day. This is Infinite Trials, so you're saying rate, comment, sub, peace out, yo, and have a good one. Okay, I've uh, done what you asked. Well done, soldier.